Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. A couple of weeks ago, I decided to give tape and extensions a second chance, and I was I had a dream that I had turned my hair back to brown. Oddly, I messaged my mum just now asking what's for dinner or for, for ourselves, and she said she was just about to ask that. I'm trying to say, so I hope the extra ding is um, I'm still using my mum's laptop. I managed to transfer my dad some five hundred dollars, so. Very very soon. He will all have to get me a laptop for Christmas. I am so distracted and thank God for the power of editing. Be right back again. Okay, until I need to browse the internet just for information retrieving, I won't be using my phone at all. And I'm still messaging my mum back and forth. She's finishing up with karate. Yes, she's a karate instructor. And also a Reiki master. Completely besides the point, once again, just power of editing. <laughs> Bear with me here. So, I had a dream that I went brunette, but that's not going to happen because I love my blonde too much. I also had a dream that I gave taping extensions a second chance. Now, I have had history with taping extensions, hence where this dream has come from. So, browsing around a little bit, I have remembered that Jay Z Styles, which um, is an American YouTuber and a uh, hairstylist, she has her own salon and her own extensions line. I went to order from um, this company, except the pain in the part is she plus the company does not sell to Australia, only Canada and the US. Helps no one unless you're from those states. <laughs> so digging a little bit further along, I then came across a, well I already watched this young woman based on you know, how to apply taping extensions to yourself without any additional assistance. She was talking about an Australian company which obviously is beneficial for me because I don't have to pay so much. She was talking about a company called Pure Hair Extensions and you know, I grew rather interested in this company so when I reached out to them obviously the way you do with any website you browse, you find your shade, you find a bunch of inches, you find you know the different um, factors about extensions that strike your attention. I went for 24 inch in ash blonde, which gave me about the price of $169 for 100 grams per each individual section or weft, whatever you want to call it. So I managed to pay for it all successful. I got a confirmation email confirming my payment, then an email a day later saying that my shipment's on the way. So standard shipping for Australia usually two to three days. Whether it's from Sydney, coming from Queensland, wherever, or if somewhere close to, um, a little bit closer to home, literally, uh, then, you know, still the standard two to three days. Two to three days later, I get another email uh, from these guys saying, well, our supplier has just notified us saying that the 24 inch ones that you have personally ordered are actually out of stock. We do apologize for this profoundly. We can refund you and send you 20 inches instead. And I said, yeah, sure. It took me like two days to actually figure out what they meant by the email. I'm not the brightest person, clearly. So two days later, I then replied to them saying, yes, I would like a refund. And yes, please, you may refund the um, extension and swap the 24 inch out for the 20 inch. The 20 inch for these guys on this website would give me about 70 grams of hair which is pretty good. I mean, it's still quite uh, flat, it's looking like no thicker than the Dove Cameron extensions that I still have. Um, the first pair that I've got are actually on my floor. They're always starting to see their day a little bit. It's like they're very, very dry out and they get knotted up very easily, which is quite quick considering I've only had them for like a couple of months. Uh, I've had the trim like an inch or two inches off just to you know, make it look decent and curl it up a little bit just to give it some texture and distract from the frizziness that it has. I then decided to buy a whole new pair from the same company, the exact same sort, uh, the Ash Blonde from um, the Dove Camera line from Bellamy. These guys, they're a lot, um, they're still very fun. Like when you first purchase them, they're a lot thicker than most extension companies that you get from a salon, but especially the salons that I've had experiences with. They're still very, very flat, so I thought, you know, upon this dream, how about I just give tape attention a second chance? So, like I said, I reached out to this company, um, the Pure Hair Extensions, um, Australian company, and my payment had gone through successfully. Two days later, they, the, um, oh, what was the word I just used? Uh, the supplier or what have you had informed them that the 24 inches ones were not in stock at all. Yeah, the payment had already gone through, so it was like a system failure essentially. So they felt obviously bad that that happened. 
so it has the refund. The refund is a bit complicated on, uh, on the other hand, giving they refunded the uh, money like $30 back to me because of the shipping. They, oh, they still switched the, um, the extensions out, so I'm still technically paying for extensions, but they just gave me back $30 twice, so because I ordered two bundles, which is obviously a good thing that I did. So, two lots of thirty dollars, which obviously is still makes sixty. Um, should have technically gone back into my own bank account for my PayPal account, but that is not their problem, you know, with failure on you know the money side end. It's just their system had failed a little bit. The supplier had told them you're all caught up now. So technically, I had already filmed this video, but my editor was acting like it was drowning. The more footage I tried to put into the editor. The more I acted like I was just putting more and more water into an isolated environment, and which is just like gasping for air, and it wouldn't let me um, edit anymore. And then when I was sacrificing some footage, um, it wouldn't render properly. And when I had time to quit out and then clear up the trash, etc., I cleared up so much, like everything hard drive wise for my editor and the desktop and the trash were just about damn near empty, like all brand new again, and the editor was still squeaking. I think it updated itself a little bit because now we've got like volume um, to the side of the little right of it. Anyway, so massive issue with the editor, but hopefully I have resolved it. I did also um, tone these extensions just a little bit because they were a bit too yellow toned um, when I had received them, and I did receive them in a package like this. That's the right way around. So they came in those oversized hair nets in like a donut shape, the same way that you receive your belly meat extensions. Just in this package, pure hair. Obviously, also the pack, um, their delivery package, but that literally doesn't count. So two bundles of 20 pieces each for, for about 70 grams for the 20 inches. I did, um, and I still, luckily, I still have the footage of where I'm actually applying these extensions. I have already discovered the hard way that. The ones at the side here um, made it come out and just be repositioned because that is blatantly obvious. I didn't realise how obvious, especially when my hair is up and pinned back, etc. But when I was putting them in, I do double check with my moving my hair back just to make sure that it'll be covered and it look pretty good. But for some reason, it's just being obvious. <laughs> it's not a huge um, pain now, so I can take them out and when I buy some new tapes whether they be from a salon or online, I can just reposition them. So, tape and extensions are not even semi permanent, they just stick in your hair a little bit longer than what clippings do, but you can still take them out whenever you ideally so you want to. So, as for these extensions, when I first got them, they were very, very smooth, not, not silky feeling. Like if you have purchased the Dove Cameron extensions, then you know that they feel very, very silky and angelic upon have you very 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 soft. Receiving these extensions, um, I do still also have one little lonely guy left. Um, when you start to butter them up, um, sandwich them together, the numbers then decrease from 20 pieces up until small and small and small. So one guy got left behind. That's, that's okay, when I do purchase more if I need to, um, I can just finally give that guy a little buddy. So upon receiving them in the first place, they were very yellow toned and they felt like more smooth and my mum just messaged me. When I was first touching these extensions they felt very smooth and oddly when I had uh, dunked them in and out of purple shampoo just to tone them a little bit and apparently according to my sister there was this chemically, a very very strong chemical scent to them so she definitely um, urged me to wash them but when I gave them a sniff uh, they had like that very very faint new wig scent to them. I don't know what shit was smelling, but apparently it was pretty bad. I mean, like a lot of chemicals on these extensions, but I couldn't smell much apart from a wig smell. But I gave them a few dunks in purple shampoo just to tone them a bit, and then of course went in with some sulfate free conditioner because it is vital that you use sulfate free products when you're working with extensions, any kind of extensions. Turning them out the way, conditioning them just to rehydrate them and close off the cuticle. Dried nicely and as I was like finger coming just to make sure that the um, strands stay separate so the air can get to them properly and dry them properly. The air, the hair felt oddly sticky like there was a residual product left over and I had definitely rinsed as thoroughly as I possibly could. Once they had completely finally dried they looked very very fluffy and the ends already looked like they have been through several weeks of use already. 
So I decided just to give them a whole new condition, just a very quick condition, blow dry them, and of course that made them look better. So now we have my hair, obviously, except for the one little guy. I do need to reposition um, a few, to my surprise, but that's okay, you live and you learn. So these extensions, they do feel alright so far. They're not silky smooth, but they are a smooth texture, and hopefully they will last me quite a while. Oh, I've had like the longest history of extensions just crapping out so easily. I don't know if it's my climate that I'm living in, or all I do is brush them, maybe even curl them give them a wild little condition just to hydrate and that's literally it and I still manage to find a way to dry out and get a bit split at the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> I also do put coconut oil through them you know, just for the general shine and hydration because obviously extensions do not contain keratin or the same oils that our own hair does so you gotta make up for it with the extra maintenance. Duh. <laughs> this company was a little bit of a um, touch and go especially with the um, service like receiving extensions in the first place. Two weeks later, I finally received them. When I was browsing on YouTube for other people's reviews, there was actually only one other guy talking about pure hair extensions and one other girl who was you know, just showing how she puts them in. There was no specific video on anyone else's reviews. These extensions, they do feel alright. Um, they don't feel long lasting, but then again, I could take myself by surprise and be even more impressed by this company, etc. That is just my review, this is my first impressions. Like, like I said, I already filmed this, you know, from raw first impressions, the way it's supposed to be, but the editor just decided to drown in it and have some brain damage. But I managed to turn it anti-vegetable, so hopefully I can edit all this up and be good with it. As in, oh, you know what I mean, shut up, Shannon.
sorry if I've ever already done it, but this is the other finished product. I do have the very top um, three on each side and three clips. The Dove Cameron webs that I'll still be using, so not you know putting my older extensions to waste. Everything else is tapes. So this is the back. I shall stand up against zoom all the way out and just stand against my green screen. I'm gonna put it in a frame, but it helps no one. I'm gonna put my um, camera down just on the floor next to my desk so that I can zoom all the way out and that you guys can see full profile. I did have to trim the ends just a little bit, they still probably look a little bit hollow at the ends. But they had this like, really awkward point, so I just cut it off and face frame just a little bit around here. Yeah, I really, really like them. They are nice and smooth. I wouldn't say silky soft, but they fit nice and smooth and they blend in really well. My dove ones, because the way Dove had manufactured them, I do have like the tiniest amount of like lavender silver undertones. My um, pure extension ones have, of course, the little yellow tone that most natural blondes have still. That's the case, my sister said just now, um, it has to add dimension. There, this is all of me. Loves all of you. Anyway, I will see you guys for my future videos. Like this clip now is now also the after clip. So thank you all so much for watching this video and I shall see you all for my future ones.